All right, what is good, everybody? It's your boy, John Denton. Welcome back to another reaction. Yes, I'm going to be checking out the new remix of Take Me Back to London by Ed Sheeran Stormzy featuring JK and Netman H, who's just blowing up with like an unbelievable scale at the moment. So fair play to H. Uh, interested to hear this. You know, they made a video to it. I like the original track. It's decent. I've heard it before. But i um, interested to see what these guys bring to the track. We ain't a Oh, that beat's different straight away. There's a lot more going on in there. It feels more grimy, for want of a better adjective. Okay, so this is the Sir Spyro remix, so I guess he's just, yeah, flipped up the beat as well. Run from chat shit, they're the 12-gear drip, yeah, sick how it fits in my hand. I don't mix with the glitz and the glam, all these stupid pricks on the gram. I shoot a guy, leave you wet like you scuba dive. We were younger then, and now we're unified. South London boys get you crucified, I'm gone. It's that time, Big Mike and Teddy are on grind. I wanna try new things, they just want me to sing because nobody thinks I write rhymes. But now I'm back in the biz with my guy. Give me a packet of Chris in my pint. It does actually friends, work. Go straight to the it, with that change in the beat, before it sounded like a pop song with a grime element, now it sounds like a grime song with him on the hook. I like it. I do. It reminds me of the music that I was really into in the early 2000s. Like, I was into grime at the beginning, you know, Boy in the Corner, Kano, all that sort of stuff. And then life just got in the way. I just didn't really listen to that sort of music for, for a period. And this just reminds me of going back to then. But that's my fault. Oh. Gross half a billion on the divide tour. Oh. Yes, I ain't kidding. What would I lie for? Oh. But now I'm back in the track with Big Michael. Oh. He said, Till he never get off your high horse and never let him take your crown. Do you reckon that's in Ed's garden that they're just driving around there? You better tell them the hooligans here. My team can't lose when I'm here. Outside, quick twos and a beer. You see me when I choose to appear. Just paid a few bags for my carpet. Blood, take off your shoes when you rear. Yo, I can turn booze into cheers. Trip on it, man, cruise for the gears. Red blues when I'm here, it's prom. Family, you dumb. Red, red wine. Oh, anyway, it's a fair play. I do, I've got to be honest, I don't know much JK. So you go, you guys have to educate me or some of his other stuff. But um, obviously a Birmingham guy. But this doesn't sound like an Ed Sheeran song anymore. It sounds like a grime song with Ed Sheeran on the hook. And that's credit to him because it is an Ed Sheeran song. And it shows the show, man. I know he's been like in and around the scene for fucking years. I know he's been writing rhymes for years. I know he's got respect in that scene. I mean, I've got massive respect for the guy for his unbelievable work ethic uh, coming up and then still his unbelievable work ethic. And it's nice to see him as well, not only give him these platforms to, to newer artists. I mean, he did this for Storms a few years ago and he had him out in the Brits and everything like that. And, you know, you see where he's gone now. But you got a little H with his head appearing out the tour bus there. I watched that interview. I don't know if you guys saw it with Ed and Charlemagne the God. It came out a couple of weeks ago, uh, maybe four weeks ago, something like that. And Ed sounded like he's such a well-spoken, interesting, intelligent guy. But like his life sounds like a bit like a nightmare. Obviously, you can't be a nightmare because you're making half a billion on the Dubai tour. You're extremely rich. You're basically, if not the biggest artist in the world, in top five, right? Uh, definitely top ten. But probably top five. And in the UK, probably number one, I would say. I think that's fair to say. But he's saying he can't go anywhere. So he just is in his house. He's like a state house or whatever it is in, in it, you know, near Ipswich. So it must be nice for him, actually, like to be able to just get out and do these videos where he's not getting necessarily bothered. He's just getting to hang out with other people. He's getting to work. You just see the pictures that, that, that he puts out and stuff. I mean, like pictures, you know, they can tell a million stories incorrectly or correctly. But anyway... This is a very good remix of a decent song. Old school raving back to Scala and the AP pack with Gala. Take me back to Manor. Blocks out roll full of Yak and Maggot and the S3 boot full of packs of Cala. Hit the booth, man, snap it, snap it. Bap, bap, that's that trap wrapped to map it. Some man a bless, I'm a bad and trap it. Gets cold up north, pack your hat and track it. <laughs> He's so good. The kid is so good. He's so good. He's just got something about him. The combination of the accent, the combination of the way he flows a little bit differently to most of the people in the UK right now. He's got a strange charisma about him, H, and there's a reason that he's blowing up. Made a change to get paid. Found my stayed in my lane and came with that flame. Day to day we on stage. To make my cake, then I skate and catch the next plane. Baking up when I wake. Rake it up, get it saved. Let's make it all break. Let's make it all break. Human man still make a mistake. Mad now, H just made a mixtape. Told JK to make a next eight. We about to set pace. I can't get about no more, it gets bait. And I don't get ahead no more, I get fake. She don't want him no more, she wants J. And she don't want me no more, she wants H. I JK, make a lot of P. Uh. Go straight there if you swear I got a B. Wait, stop, pop my collar, I'm a G5 million. 
the minimum what I want to see And anything I want to put that to bed Tell mum see that I want to track with Ed Aim this one at your head Right bars with a pen on the pad when the battery's dead Jet Fucking hell, I mean he's given most of the song Fair play, man. Fair play to Ed Sheeran, giving these guys most of the song. I, you forget. He just kept appearing in the video. You forget it's an Ed Sheeran track. Yeah, this is good. I know I paused it 4,000 times, but this is good. This is good. Fun. And they got to be themselves. Every artist on this got to be themselves. And yeah, those guys going back to back like that, that sounded good. It just, yeah, reminded me of like, fuck it, I was going to say 10 years ago, more like 15 years ago. Yeah, fucking hell, thumbs up. I mean, like I said, I liked the tune anyway. I thought it was good. I thought it was probably the best one on that record, his collabs record, and that's a much better version. I mean, it really just felt like he stepped out of the way and let everybody else have the spotlight. And that takes an ego in great place. I like Ed Sheeran, man. I just do. I think the guy is excellent. Not every song that he makes is going to be my cup of tea necessarily, but like... He, you know, he can just turn his hand to anything, and the amount of respect he seems to command from everybody, genuine respect and love, is it shows a lot about the guy. So yeah, I enjoyed that a lot. Um, and like, you know, UK fans, uh, obviously we've done a lot of UK tracks and started a couple of journeys over on Rock Reacts. Those are going to continue over here. I've got a little plan. I've got a little plan for how it's going to start. It's going to start soon. But yeah, get the, the recommendations in below, whether it's grime, whether it's, you know, UK rap, whether it's drill, whatever it is. Get the reaction, uh, sorry, get the, the request, get the suggestions in down below. You know that I'm going to be paying a lot of attention to what's happening in my home country. It's not just all about uh, US hip hop. It's not just all about other music, of course. But I want to make sure uh, this was a nice little taster because it dropped and it made sense to do it. But uh, I've got a plan for how it's going to start properly. Uh, some of you guys may be able to work out what that already is. So um, yeah, like I say, if you're new, please do subscribe. We're going on a journey here through the past, present, and future of hip hop, past, present, and future of all music. And that's about it, guys. Follow me on social media, like the video, share the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.